Sadaqa, charity is the one-fifth Ghani profit from the zakah justification of your wealth to be distrib distributed among the following categories. For Allah, God, one, for the Rasul, the messenger, for Ibn Sabi, the son of the way, for Furqa, Muhajin, the poor migrate, who migrates up to the circle and up to the belief, and, and for Furqa, Muhajin, the poor migrate, who are the settlers of the circles and of the belief from before. For the Qurba relatives, for Yatama, the orphans, for the Masakin, the needy who are reduced to poverty. These are the eight categories that the messenger is giving to them. And whatever the messenger gives to them, they take it, they don't find any effect on them what has been given. So now we come to the consultation, the other aspect of the Sadaqa. sadaqa. Al Mujadala 5812, I have already read, but we'll discuss now in detail. Ya Yuladina Amanu Ida Najaitumu Rasula Fakadimu Baina Yadai Najwakum Sodakatan Najwakum Sodaka Dalikum Khairulakum Wa Athar Fa illam Tajidu Fa in Allah Rafur Rahim. Oh, you believe when you consult the messenger, then advance Sadaka, the charity that is between two hands of your consultation. That is better and purer for you. So if you do not find to advance Sadaqa charity, then surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. Now in this ayah, we have, Allah is telling us, oh you believe, you consult with the messenger. And once you want to have, have any consultation, before the consultation you have to advance the Sadaqa charity. And this Sadaqa charity is from your 80. Remember this. And this Sadaqa charity is from your 80 and it is referred to, uh, uh, it is according to your means, whatever the amount of means you have got. It doesn't, it doesn't specify any number. It is not de defining you any number, it is referred to any amount that is according to your means. Now, I will read Surah Tawbah 9102103 further. وَآخَرُونَ عَتَرَفُوا بِذُنُوبِهِمْ خَلَطُوا وَعَمَلًا صَالِحًا وَآخَرَ سَيِّعًا أَصَى اللَّهُ أَنْ يَتُوبَ عَلَيْهِمْ إِنَّ اللَّهَ غَفُورٌ رَحِيمٌ خُذْ مِنْ أَمْوَالِهِمْ صَدَقَةً تُطَاهِرُهُمْ وَتُزَكِّيهِمْ بِهَا وَصَلِّ عَلَيْهِمْ إِنَّ الصَّلَاةَ كَسَكَنٌ لَهُمْ وَاللَّهُ سَمِيعٌ عَلِيمٌ And other people have confessed with their sins. They have mixed correct, correct acts and other bad acts. It may be that Allah will return over them. Surely Allah is forgiving, merciful. Take sadaq, sadaqa, charity, so that you purify and justify with them. Justify them with it and pray over them. Surely your prayer, salah, is a satisfaction for them and Allah is hearing and knowing. Now, how, how and why we are doing, we are, we are having consultation with the messenger. What is the consultation we are having with the messenger? It is explained in this verse in the Surah Tawbah 9102. We all, in our all our lifetime, we have mixed right acts or correct acts and wrong acts. Mixed, you know. And other people who have confessed with their sins khalatu amalan saliha wa akhara wa akhara sayya they have mixed correct acts and other bad acts it may be that allah will return over them surely allah is forgiving merciful so what is the consultation we are doing continuously that there are certain amalan saliha mean correct acts we do correct things but at the same time we are also doing bad acts, sayya, wa akhara sayya, other are bad acts. So they confess themselves of the right acts and of the bad, the bad acts, bad doings, the wrong doings. They confessed. But that doesn't mean they repeat. If you are confessing to Allah and His Messenger, so you make sure that you will not do it again. So what is the consultation with the messenger? I am describing that. What is the consultation that we keep on consultation with the messenger is that is the Quranic ayat. We listen to the ayahs. When we understood the ayahs, we come to know there are certain acts we are doing right and there are certain acts we are doing wrong. And we have mixed both. We have mixed both. So we have to confess our right acts 
okay i understand that i am sorry by allah i have been doing wrong i understand i will not do it again that's the confession you're doing with allah while consultation with the messenger so you confess that you have done wrong acts and you have mixed khalatu amalan saliha you have mixed right correct acts with the bad acts you have confessed this yes these are the wrong acts i'm doing and these are the correct acts I'm, and i mix both of them and i'm a person a believer no you are not trying to become a believer with mixing both of them so you have you have to advance sadaqa charity to the messenger and then and then he will the Allah says further khud min amwalin sadaqa you take sadaqa charity from them so that you purify so that you purify and justi justify them with it and pray over them surely your prayer is a satisfaction for them and Allah is hearing knowing now you have to take sadaqa charity, khud bin amal, sadaqa charity from them. Allah says to the messenger, you take charity, sadaqa from them to tahiru, so that you purify, you purify them, what to zakki him and you justify them. Justification means you clarify the point to them so they are, they have confessed what the right, right acts, what the correct acts they are doing and what are the bad acts they are doing. You just, they are justified that they are doing wrong. So, they, the, so Allah says, وَصَلِّي عَلَيْهِمْ And you pray over them. Surely your prayer, سَكَنَلُّهُمْ is a satisfaction for them. وَاللَّهُ سَمِينَ عَلَيْهِ Allah is all hearing and knowing. Now you must understand how this process will occur in our lives. You must understand this. You see, for example, I give you an example <clears throat> that I have supposed belief of if something go, goes wrong in my life which is not going according to my vain desire or some loss is going into my life I start assuming that some people are playing magic on me if the system is not working according to my normal way of doing things in my life so I started assuming things that some magic is going on my, on my personality, on my house something is going wrong it's not fit befitting according to my vain wishes, what I wish. They should go like this. That my, this uh, this uh, calamity is coming from various directions. So you start thinking like this. So now suppose you consult with the Quran. And Quran is the Kalam or the word of Allah. Quran is the Kalam, is the word of Allah. Is the book of Allah. Is the revelation from Allah. Is, is an inspiration from Allah. But it is the saying of the messenger. It is a qawli rasul kareem Innahu la qawlu rasul rasul kareem It is the saying of the messenger. So any ayat that you take guidance from, from any ayat, that is the qawli rasul kareem You are consulting the messenger. And it is the kalam of Allah, the word of Allah, book of Allah. So now I have described you my problem. So we have to see what the Quran has to say about this. So there is an ayah in, in Al-Baqarah 2 chapter 155 and 156 and 157 onwards. You can write down the reference. It says, What does it mean? Surely, surely we will... We, uh, we will put you into trial. We'll put you into trial of fear. We'll jew out of hunger. And the loss will be given to me. Well, anfus, and there will be a loss in my psyche. So Allah is making sure that He is put, putting you onto trial. He's trying you. And He said, Definitely I'll try you. He's giving us loss in life, in psyche, loss in wealth, fear, while Jew out of hunger, from the wealth, while anfus, my psychology, was samarat are my fruits, my, my resultants, he will put uh, into loss. He's, he will do it and he's doing it. So Allah says, وَبَشْرِ sabirin Give the good news to those who have patient. 
now I, 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 was, I was thinking that some magic is going on in my life. So that means when I read this ayah, I read this Arabic ayah and I knew the translation and I, I believe that it is not people doing magic on me, it is not somebody putting uh, this, uh, some hurdles in my life, it is Allah is putting me on to trial. When I know that Allah is putting me on into trial, so that concept will go away. So this is how it says, Khud min amwalin sadaqatan to tahirum, so that you purify them, wa to him and you justify them. Wa salli alayhim, and you pray over them, you do salah over them, meaning that ayah that I read just now, wa nablu an nakum bi shayim min al qaw, wa al ju, wa naqsi min al amwal, wa al anfus, wa samarat, wa bashi sabirin. I stand in my prayer and I recite these ayats in the salah. In the salah. And I know that when I'm reciting this ayah, is it my words? Is it my words? It is Qawla Rasul Kareem. And I believe in this Qawla Rasul Kareem. It is the messenger saying, Kalam of Allah, Word of Allah, Book of Allah. So when I'm reciting these verses, these ayahs in my salah, it is the messenger uh, salah over, the, over these people. Wasalli alayhim. So you pray over them. The messenger prays over you. And if you have Babashir Sabirin, if you have patience on it, this is one consultation I'm telling you in relation to one of the aspects according to ayat. How the messenger becomes, uh, he, uh, how he purifies you, how he justifies you, how he prays over you. By reciting the same ayah, you consult the Quran, you come to know this is the Qawla Rasul Kareem, you memorize it with understanding, it is based on a particular situation, you memorize it with understanding, and you know it is not somebody is doing anything in me, it's not doing anyone is not doing anything on me, it is Allah who's putting me into a trial, a tremendous trial. So I ha should have patience. Wabashi Sabirin. Musiba. Whenever the, the calamity comes over you, Musiba, Kalu inna lillahi wa inna ilahi rajiun. They say we have come from Allah and we will go back for towards Allah. And over them are salawat, the prayers. The prayers are over them. From the Lord and mercies over them. And they are those who will be guided. So this is, the, this is how you take guidance. This is how Allah prays over you. Or the messenger prays over you. You memorize the ayahs according to a particular situation and the situation I just now describe it to you one of the situation people come into life and they start believing in certain so many things they start believing without proof superstitious superstitions you don't believe that Allah is doing it to you so they say no no don't expect that God should put us into trial he has made sure whether you are a believer whether you are reciting all the time taking guidance from the Quranic ayat he will make sure He will definitely love means he will definitely try you. We will definitely try you. from what uh, from, 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 from fear. from hunger. and from the loss of wealth. Well anfos from your psyches. Wat from your fruits. He makes sure that he will do it. So you must trust that Allah is doing it to me. Wabashir Sabirin. So good news for those who have patience. This is the recitation you have to do. How the messenger will pray. You pray. Remember these ayahs. Memorize these Arabic texts in translation and in the essence and believe in it. And you recite in the salah. So the messenger will recite over you. He will justify you. He will purify you. And your salah is a satisfaction for them. And this, this loss of wealth, this loss of hunger, this loss will become a, what, what will become? A mercy and a satisfaction for you. Uh, this is the message of recitation. So, so now you must, ladies and gentlemen, so this is how we consult. There are many, many different situations we come into and first of all we must realize, we must confess that I was believing in the magic bondu or six months in something. I was thinking in some other magic or some wrong things black magic or some, some this magic, some man has done this to me or some this guy is doing this to me, this is all nonsense. 
It, it, is, uh, it is our psyche is based on if you start believing these kind of things, you start or you believe in numbers or you believe in, in, in your stars. Uh, because the star says, so it's going to happen to me like this. All this is false. So this is how you have to take guidance from it. It is Quran who has given you guidance. And this is how the messenger will recite ayahs over you. And this is how he will pray over you. So, uh, next page. Eh? Alam ya, uh, Surah Tawbah 9104. Same page. Same page. Alam ya'lamu anna huwa yaq هو يقبل التوبة على عن ألم يعلموا أن الله هو يقبل التوبة عن عباده ويأخذ الصدقات وأن الله هو التواب الرحيم. Do they not know that Allah is He who accepts repentance from His servants and He takes sadaqat charities uh, 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 any amount to, according to the means and that Allah is He who is returning most merciful. So now in this ayah, Allah is telling us when we, we, will, we will perform as the messenger will say, we will recite those particular ayahs and we amend. So Allah says, Allah will, do they not know that Allah is, will accept the repentance. If you are true and sincere of, in your repentance and if you do not repeat, so Allah says, uh, do they not know Allah is he who accept the repentance from his servants. And he takes sadaqat and whatever the sadaqa, the charity that you gave uh, in both uh, categories mentioned and Allah is he who returning and merciful. So now you, you know what the situation is. You have memorized that particular ayah. You are reciting in your salah and you are also giving sadaqa charity. So the prayer, the salah of the messenger will be over you. Number one, he will purify you and he will justify you. That is, will happen to you. Meaning you will be, and you will have, that salah of prayer will be a satisfaction for you. That is the prayer of the messenger. Salah of the messenger. Now if, suppose there are people like among these six categories, I have already described Allah, uh, excluding Allah's messenger, there are six categories. Yatama, the orphans, they don't have anything to give. They will be in problem. You understand? So further ayat in Surah uh, Al-Mujadla 58.30 it says, page 10, page 10 ayat, page, page 10. Ashfaqtum an tuqaddimu bayna yaday najwaakum sadaqat faid lam taf'alu wa taaba allahu alaykum faqimu salah wa atu zakah wa atiu allaha wa rasoolah wa allahu khabirun bima ta'amaloon do you feel pity of that as you advance sadaqa charity that is between two hands of your consultation? So when you did not do it and Allah will return over you, then establish salah prayer and give zakah justification and obey Allah and His Messenger. And Allah is acquainted with what you do. So in this ayah, if you will note that there is a person, Allah says, if you did not do it, why would you not do it if you got sadaqa, if you got the amount of you will give? There are people who cannot give. So if you cannot give, if you cannot do it, then Allah will return over you. The people who are in the categories, meaning who are faqir, who are yatama, who are miskeen, who are on the category where their hands are laid dicks. The, the, the people, rich people are handed like that they are giving. And the, the ones who are receiving ends, so they cannot take a consultation from the messenger. Of course they can, take, they can have consultation from the messenger. But if they cannot do it, when they cannot give sadqa charity, still Allah says, you establish the salah. That, so when you did not do it, Allah will return over you, establish the salah, zakah, salah, and give zakah justification, and obey Allah and His messenger. And Allah is acquainted with, all, with what you do. So what I'm trying to explain, there are two categories. One is the giving category, uh, give, give people who give. The other are the receiving end. So when you are consulting the consultation with the messenger, the people who are in the category, cannot give sadqa, sadqa. So for Allah, for that Allah is given a pardon. They cannot give, so Allah says still they can, they can establish the salah and give justification. So in that context, there are people excluded. It is, these people are not, uh, uh, are not in that category of giving sadqa. People who are, who are supposed to give sadqa, they have to give sadqa. People who do not, are not in that condition. They can give sadqa but have consultation with the messenger of con consultation with the messenger is there. But people who cannot give, they are excused. 
now in Surah Tawbah 960, page 14. Innama sadaqatu lil fuqara'i lil fuqara'i wal masakin wal aamilina alayha wal muallafa muallafati qulubuhum wa fi al-riqab wal gharimina wa fi sabilillah wa abni sabil faridatan min Allah wallahu alimun hakim surely the sadaqat the charities are for for furqa those who are poor and for masakin the needy and amilin those who, who work on it on sadqat and for whose hearts are composed and are in raqab who are in slavery and for gharimin who have to pay fine and for fi sabillah in the way of Allah and for ibn sabil the son of the way an obligation from Allah and Allah is doing wise now in this ayah if you note uh, the sadaqat is in plural means there are types of sadaqat so you, you see the, the categories we have to jot down the category lil, uh, is, is lil fuqra is only for poor poor this fuqra are just poor people it is not dif this sadaqa this ayah that I am reading is a combination of both categories meaning the purification from that your prophet and from your consultation both are involved in this category you will see these categories you, you understand what I'm saying that that we have discussed there are two types of sadaqat one sadaqa charity one sadaqa charity is, is from your profit that is 20 percent the other sadaqa charity is your consultation so this ayat is referring because it is using the word sadaqa plural many sadaqat are given to different categories we have to identify which category it's this is referring to in which category these ref, these are they referring to because there are two types of sadaqat one sadaqat is from your 20 percent and one sadaqat charity is from your consultation so i will read and you will you will tell me that in in namaz sadaqa lil fuqra this is poor people we have already read in the ghani prophet in 59 hashar it is the poor migrates of the belief or poor migrate settlers of the belief. So this fukra is a category that is not coming in, in that out of the profit category. The, the, the category that has to be given money from the profit, from the 20. So this fukra is not coming in, the, in that category. This is poor. This is the one poor, any person who is poor outside in the, on this, uh, this road, poor person, you can give sadhka. But this sadhka charity will be given to him when you consult with the messenger. When you consult with the messenger, you will give this sadhka charity to a poor person and that poor person is not a migrator in belief, is not a settler in belief, a migrator, settler, poor migrator, settler in belief, he is just a poor person. So this is referred to which, per, which category? The consultation category. He will come under the consultation category. The other is the masakin. Masakin is in, under the eight, under the, in the eight categories, right? So this is under eight category. Wal alamin alayha. Wal amilin alayha. And those people who work on charities. Who work on charities. Who are these people? Hello? Who are these people who work on charities? People who are working on sadaqah charities are the poor migrants, settlers of the belief. They are, they are, they are the workers on the charities they work on charities you are you following this so they come on both categories in when you do consultation you can give to these people or you can take them as a category who are the migrators of belief from the prophets also so th these come in both categories and these are the same people who have on the, or whose hearts are composed who are those people whose hearts are composed among whom the settlers do not find anything effect on their hearts or in their chest if any new migrators when they migrate if something is given to them so their hearts are composed with those categories the the ones who are the settler migrators in belief in the circles and those who are settlers in the circles when people are migrating in belief the and what is given to them to who 
who are migrating in belief and the settlers who are the, in belief do not find in their chest any uh, stinginess. They don't have any effect on them. So they are, their hearts are composed with them, what has been given to them. So they are also among the both categories. Wafir Riqab, who are in slavery. This does not come in eight categories. So this comes under consultation categories. This Riqab are the people who are in slavery. If you consult with the messenger, if you got any means, whatever you mean, you can give this uh, to the Riqab, to the slavery person, a person you have to uh, enslave him. Wal Gharamina, who have to pay fine. A person who is stuck up in some, pay, have to pay fine, like interest of the bank or something like that, he has to pay fine, any fine is put on him. So this also does not come under the category of eight categories. They are separate people. So consultation money, when you consult with the messenger, you can give this, uh, uh, consultation with the consult with the messenger, you can give this to this category also. Was he, fi sabillillah, fi sabillillah is both categories. In the in Al Hashar also, and in this category also, Wabri Sabir is both categories. Farizatam min Allah. This is a, a obligation from Allah. Wallahu alim al hakim. This is Ayah Surah Tawbah 960 includes both sadaqat. One sadaqa is for your consultation sadaqa charity, and the other sadaqa charity is from from your 20 percent. So if you note the categories, sometimes you will understand it is coming in both categories, this is coming in both categories and sometimes you will understand it is only referring to, to the consultation category. So in the next page, if you open the Satra Charity, that is the one-fifth of the, I have reduced all these uh, people and they, this come to nine categories. Satra Charity, that is the one-fifth Ghani profit and any amount of according to the means from your wealth for the zakah justification and tahra purification of the self soul to be distributing among the following categories. Before we read uh, sadqa means the charity, zakah means the justification of your wealth. This is sadqa charity and zakah is purification of your soul, of your psyche, of your nafs uh, and purer, the messenger will recite over you so that you purify and justify, justify yourself. So these are the categories that you have to give. When you consult the messenger, you can give this to these categories. Fi sabila comes both in both categories. Wabli sabil comes in both categories. No, so fi sabila is is uh, both categories. Yes. Okay, both. Wabli sabil. Fi sabila means in the way of Allah. Wabli sabil means in sons of the way. Both categories. Lil fukra. These are only poor. Comes under. Those uh, under this only uh, consultation category. Well, Aalimi, Aamilina, Aamilina means the people who works on charities. Well, Muallafati Kulubuhum, whose hearts are composed of the circles of the beliefs. Those people, the people, composed, whose hearts are composed means the circle of the belief who have migrated and who are the settlers. Their hearts are composed. So they are in both categories. Well, Masakin are in both categories. Wafir Riqab is only in consultation categories. Wal Gharimin is under the uh, consultation categories. Wasai can come in both categories. Any uh, person who asks. It is not mentioned in both categories, but it, it is mentioned. Anybody can, anybody can ask at any time, he can come in that category. We can call him in that category. So now these were the two types of, uh, two types of sadaqat. Sadaqa. One is from your prophet and one is from your consult of your consultation. Now Allah describes the behavior of those people who are involved in sadqat the charities. Who are involved in sadqat charities, the behavior of the people in Surah Al-Baqarah 2 and 177, ayah, page 18. <laughs> Wal Kitab, Wal Nabiyin, Wa Aat Al Malala Hubbihi, Dawil Kurba, Wal Yatama, Wal Masakin, Wabn Sabil, Wal Sa Ilina Wafir Rikob, Wakama Salata Wa Ata Zaka, Wal Mufuna Bi Adhim Ida Ahadu, Wasabidina Fil Basa Iwadullahi, Wahinal Bas, 
It is not righteous that you turn your faces to a qibla, that is the direction of belief to the east and the west. But the righteousness is that he who believed in Allah, who believes in Allah in the last day, and the angels, and the book, and the prophets, and upon his, his, upon his, his Allah love, he gives wealth to those who are qurba, the relatives, and to the yatama, the orphans, and to the masakin, the needy, and to the Ibn Sabi, the son of way, and the sailing, those who ask, and those are in raqab, who are in slavery, and they establish salah, the prayer, and they, they give zakah, justification, and when they promise, they fulfill their promises, and they are patient in misery and harm, and during the time of misery, they are the truthful ones, and they are those who guard. Now in this big ayah, there are two, three portions, and what is Allah is trying to, what Allah is explaining,